I wish people knew that high blood pressure was a silent disease uh, in most cases and yet it's a very, very important disease. Simple management strategies can uh, really improve quality of life uh, for patients over time. Controlling blood pressure means that the patient feels well and that the patient has the lowest possible risk of having a cardiovascular event, a stroke or a heart attack or heart failure. Uh, as time goes on so that not only do they feel well now but they can feel well in five years, they can feel well in ten years, they can feel well for the rest of their life. My hopes when it comes to managing high blood pressure are that uh, my patients feel well at all times, that we can uh, rely on healthy behaviors that not only help the high blood pressure but help the patient live a better life. Um, if we need to use medications to lower the blood pressure, that we use medications that we know are very safe, that don't have side effects, and that are very effective at lowering the blood pressure. And also, I hope that there's evidence that those medications actually, in the long term, do lower the risk for having strokes and heart disease and kidney damage. I think there are many struggles when a patient first discovers that their blood pressure is high. Uh, often it's something they have uh, no awareness of uh, leading up to it. It's a silent disease. Uh, they don't understand why their blood pressure is elevated. Uh, they don't know what they can do to make it better. Uh, and they don't understand what the importance of keeping a blood pressure uh, at a good level is. Um, and so there are many, many um, challenges. Um, the good news is that there is also a lot of information for patients when they discover that their blood pressure is high. And we have extremely effective treatments, uh, both uh, things that the patient can do themselves in their own home, in their own life, and also medications that can be very, very helpful uh, for keeping patients uh, well, uh, even when they have been diagnosed with high blood pressure. So I think the Get Down uh, BP campaign is an absolutely fantastic uh, idea and I think it will be very helpful to, for Hypertension Canada. Um, our goal is to uh, try to encourage people to live a healthier life that will um, prevent the onset of high blood pressure in the first place. Uh, in general, uh, the quality of life for patients is always better if you can prevent the problem before it develops. And so I think uh, many of the uh, interesting initiatives that uh, Get Down BP is involved in will achieve that. People, patients, uh, people who are living healthy will be able to live better. Um, and uh, I think one of the biggest challenges in blood pressure care is awareness. Uh, I think that um, if you don't know your blood pressure is elevated, then you can't possibly get involved in strategies to lower your risk. And so I think the, the, the issue of awareness is an extremely important issue and uh, this uh, Get Down BP uh, campaign is a wonderful thing because I hope it gets everybody interested in what their own blood pressure levels are like and uh, uh, I'm certainly interested in my own. So I think it's a wonderful uh, partnership. I think that um, the goals of Hypertension Canada are to improve uh, the care of patients who are at risk of developing high blood pressure as well as those who already have high blood pressure. I think Servier Canada uh, ha is, has um, positioned themselves to uh, have exactly the same goal. They want to improve um, the care of patients with high blood pressure. Uh, and I think uh, their investment in this program uh, is a wonderful testament to their interest in also preventing the problem from ever beginning. And so uh, the, um, the synergy uh, of the, the two uh, organizations wanting to work together on the same thing is a wonderful opportunity. 
and um, I wish that Hypertension Canada would partner with more uh, groups that are able to, um, to bring the same goals to the table and work together on this uh, wonderful campaign. I hope that physicians uh, will take a very important role. Um, awareness is one issue and I think the wonderful thing about Get Down BP is that we will be able to improve awareness. Um, I think uh, awareness is half the issue. A response to that awareness is so important and I think that uh, physicians um, who are engaged and interested in the, the care of their patients um, can use the Get Down BP as a wonderful instrument to achieve better health in their patients. And so um, the uh, opportunities are almost endless. Uh, when a patient comes in saying, I checked my blood pressure and I'm concerned, that's a wonderful opportunity for a physician to be educating their patient about what a different blood pressure means, what things they're doing in their life that may be contributing to their blood pressure. Um, I think uh, physicians have a role to play when the blood pressure is elevated and despite the patient's best efforts, uh, if they need medications then physicians can obviously prescribe useful um, medications that are safe and effective for blood pressure treatment. So I think physicians have a very important role to play and uh, I certainly hope that, uh, that uh, we will all uh, take our role seriously. Um, and uh, do what we can to enhance the Get Down BP campaign. So I think Canadians should join the Get Down BP community because they will um, live a better life if they do it. Uh, and they will probably enjoy their life more if they're doing it. Uh, and ultimately, uh, long term, it's an investment in their future. Uh, I think if you get involved now, even if your blood pressure is completely normal now, you will probably still end up with a better quality of life in five or ten years if you're involved in the Get Down BP campaign community. Um, so uh, everybody should be involved. <laughs>